The following podcast is brought to you by Radio WICV. To learn more information about us, visit us at RadioWICV.com in the description below. Thank you, and enjoy. Hello everyone, welcome to the podcast. That was terrible, get out of here. (laughs) Okay, in all seriousness, what's up peeps and freaks? It's Eli Copperman here, back with another episode of Sketchacast. And this week, I have a a very good friend of mine, another freshman, if you will, Amanda Rosemary Clark. So say hi, Amanda. Hello, hello, hello. That's it? Yeah. That's all, that's all you can say. Oh, it's fucking, yes. (laughs) No, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, Okay, Uh, we have about 10 questions here. They're going to be a lot of fun. Uh, So, before I get into these questions, just a, a little bit of information Um, Amanda happens to be a film major here, specifically film. Well, are you also like a photographer? Yeah, I'm a double major, uh, for film and photography. Mm -hmm. Also, if anybody hears like background noise, that's because there's a bunch of students here looking at a gallery, which is totally fine. But anyway, so with that said and done, let's get things started. So my first question to you is what got you interested in filmmaking? Ooh, um... I don't know, I just always loved watching movies, and there's, like, nothing particularly, or, like, particular that got me into, like, filmmaking or wanting to make films. I just kind of started, like, doing it, and then, um, there was a vocational school I went to where it's just, like, instead of electives, all you do is your major for four years. Nice. So, that for me was film, so then that just got me even more into it. You got lucky. Like, when when I was a senior, you, you got to have a... Um, a class called Wise, Wise Intellectual Senior Experience, where you got to, like, embrace your uh, passion or, like, your, your, your the field that, that you want to study in, so I did animation. Nice. But, actually, I would say that's a little similar to how Scandinavia does their school system in which, like, the, the, the way they do high schools... I don't, I, I don't know if this isn't entirely true. Feel free to, to correct me. Oh, I have no idea. But <laughs> what they do is, I, I think, like, when they're... When, when, young people are at that point that they, 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 they can actually go into their field to, to study and so that's great you got lucky four years of film before college oh my god it was a godsend it was amazing <laughs> yeah that's awesome though and you're from new jersey i don't know if that that's like very well known for like films but it is well, well known for for many filmmakers oh yeah um new jersey was I think like it was the first for something in film I forget exactly what but I think it was like I think maybe was was the Edison film court or the, the Edison photography court but was that in New Jersey I could be wrong yeah it's in uh West Orange New Jersey the, okay so um, the Black Mariah and everything from yeah so so it goes Jersey. as far back as that that's awesome okay uh next question sorry so regardless of how long you've been making your own films uh, how would you say your older ones compared to your more recent output? Ooh, um, my very first film wasn't very, very blurry. <laughs> I couldn't figure out the focus too well. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, my more, like, my older ones, they were, like, at the time, I was just like, oh, this is so awesome, I'm, like, real filmmaker, I got this under the, like, hood and everything. You go! Woo! <laughs> And now I'm just like, oh my god, what was I thinking? Oh, I, I, I know that feeling. I, I, there was, like, so many animations I made when I was younger that, like, I enjoyed making them, but, like, I look back to them, I'm like, oh, man, yeah, I could have like, better. Yeah, I'm just like, what? What was happening for this? <laughs> my thought process? Um, rain check? <laughs> uh, I know, I know the feeling. Plenty of people do here, but like at least you acknowledge that like oh, yeah. you, you made like duds in the past. If you like, let's say you made something when you were like thirteen and you thought it was the greatest thing ever, but you, you haven't improved since then, and you just still think, oh, this is a masterpiece, and, <laughs> and then you, you show it to people and like they're all just like, what, kid, what? do do better, child. You know, you can't always start off good. You gotta build up to it. That's correct. Okay, uh, we're I guess we're zooming by this a little quick. <laughs> what was that? I make weird noises. Welcome to my ASMR channel. That does not exist. 
fun. This is the second time. I like whispering. This is the second ASMR sh- skit I've, I've had on this podcast. What the fuck? <laughs> really? Uh, thank you, Shy. <laughs> oh my God, Shy, you're amazing. Uh, shout out, sh- shout out to, to my previous guest. We we love you. You're a babe. Okay, uh, so my third question is. What is your personal favorite genre of film? And, and not just like your favorite genre that you like to watch, but one that you like to explore. Hmm. I... Mm. Take your time. I don't know. I like, I'd say narrative, I guess, or like something that was based on a true story, well... similar to like. I mean, I guess that's like in that sense, it's a biopic. But that, but do you mean like comedic biopic, horror biopic, dramatic? Which I guess most biopics are dramatic, but probably dramatic, I would say. Um, yeah. Ooh, I don't know. And then like making. Mm, mm. I don't know. I I made like a lot of experimental films or like narratives. Um, actually, documentaries fun to make, but I don't like watching documentaries. <laughs> fall asleep during them most of the time i prefer watching documentaries on like filmmakers and film studios mm. and like animation stuff although sometimes like i have seen some documentaries on like additional subjects and, and they're fun yeah i can i can like go through like the five minute ten minute documentaries but when you go over like half an hour oof there's a really good like half an hour long documentary called life after pie which is one of the saddest fucking documentaries I've ever seen. It's about, it goes into detail about like not only the studio rhythm and hues that did the visuals for Life of Pi, but also into like how screwed up the company became economically and how Ooh. poorly treated some animators are for, for like these like CG, these live action movies that incorporate CG. It's pretty sad. I'll have to check that one out. Please do. What's um, it called? Life After Pi. Life Th- After This goes pie. for anyone else listening. Watch Life After Pi. Do it. It's very sad. <laughs> Just grab a box of tissues before you watch it. You'll so, be prepared. So you enjoy, like... So if you don't like watching documentaries, does that mean, like, if you made one, you wouldn't enjoy watching it? Um... See, like, if I made one, I could watch it, but I'd say that goes with, like, anything I make. I can watch them, like... The first few times, but then after, like, a while, it just gets... You literally know everything that happened, you know, like, all of it just gets drilled into your brain, so you're just like, oof, God, next, please. Right. Fast forward. So, like, I, I guess in something that's more fictional, would you say, like, horror or sci-fi? Combine the two. Horror, sci-fi. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it does. it can be one genre... I don't know. I for I don't really know if I have a favorite to be honest, because I will honestly watch like any type of movie, whether or not I like it. That's another story. Yeah. I think it just depends on like how the movie's made. Mm-hmm. I actually, I would say some of the better films out there are ones that don't even have specified genres. Oh, definitely. Like the movie Synected to Key New York. The most you can say is like it's a drama. But it's not, even then, it's, like, so unconventional for most dramas. It's, like, not even that. It's, like, what do you even call it? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, good good response. So, uh, next, I was able to find some of your work on your Wix page. And, and I know this because you posted it on your Instagram, which we'll get into later. But um, <laughs> you have, so, like, on, on that, that Wix page of yours, you have examples of your f- photography and cinematography that you've dabbled into, like mostly up in this decade, like the latter half. So what I want, want to know, what do you prefer more, doing photography or videography? Ooh, um, I'd say it's half and half. I prefer editing my films and everything, mm-hmm. but I would prefer going on photo shoots and being behind the camera for that compared to editing my photos or filming the film. <laughs> if, if you were filming the, the thing, would you want to do like Hitch, Hitchcock style cameos and just have like a random cameo, the director appearance? I would do that. I find those interesting because like then it's like you got to keep an eye out for them and just like, oh, hey, hey, there it is. Well, that's a, another thing. When you're, I guess when you're like in front of the camera, you don't have quite the same amount of creative control do you mm. would you like want to have a lot of creative control on something 
Yeah, I'd say I prefer to have more creative control on certain projects. Um, I, like, never go in front of the camera. I think I only did for this one green screen project we had for, um, I think that was my junior year of high school. I've seen it. It was great. (laughs) But, um, yeah, I, I definitely say I'd prefer being, like, behind the camera or on the computer editing it. Like, it's hard to, like, oof, it's interesting. I get that. It also kind of like, well, another thing too is like, if you're behind the camera, and this is like the case with a lot of directors, I imagine you wouldn't want to be like such a control freak to the point that you're kind of a psycho. Oh no. Yeah. Like everyone has like creative flow to help build it and like add to it. And then if like someone has a really good idea, I'm just like, yeah, let's do that. (laughs) Put it on, change this, do that. Yeah. Just, just have have just enough creative control where you can work well with others. Oh yeah. Because like you, you, you don't want to be like a fucking Lars von Trier or a, uh, what's this guy? Or or even a Stanley Kubrick. Kubrick oof. was like, oof. Great, great director, but man. Although that's another th- thing too. Like so, some people who have worked with like I guess tyrants for for filmmakers have said like, oh yeah, it was a painful experience, but we but we still like you know we we pushed through and all that, right. and, and we don't regret it at all. So I imagine like anyone who's like really close to to, to you would, would like love to make a film, uh, oh, help you make a film. That they're like um, Amanda Clark, hell yeah, she's great. Hell yeah, buddy, let's do it. <laughs> when and where? Film, action, <laughs> well, lights on. Let's film in this room. Can can you steer your beer to the left? Mm, how far back? Over there. Just just take a baby step to your right. No, no, no. My right, not your right. Wait, your right. Exactly. So given that some of your films have actually won awards, like you've submitted them to festivals, uh, specifically like the NJ Young Filmmakers Festival and the Big Dreams Youth Festival, which are for high schoolers. Yeah. So, like, did, did, did you walk away from that experience feeling more motivated and confident than you had ever been before? I would say yes and no, because, like, honestly, it's really interesting to, like, have your films be accepted into them, and then you go and, like, you interact with a ton of other filmmakers, and you can see, like, what's out there besides, like, what your school's just making. You mm-hmm. can see, like, what the whole state's making. Yeah. And, um, I'd say, yeah, I'd probably come back more confident, but, like, it's also... Mm, I don't know, because I wouldn't say i just come back more confident from those, because, like, the way that, like, my digital film environment, like, that program was, like, everyone there would be helping everyone. Like, if you ever needed help, you'd be, like help me or something and they'd like all just rush to help you and like you would help anyone there and we'd have class critiques whenever you needed so like that <clears throat> was definitely always the most like motivational and helpful and like giving you the confidence um but of course it's always good to have your like films be accepted into festivals and then win awards it's just like it's how you, that you, nice... you get your stuff out there yeah a good pat on the back <laughs> but um there you go. <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I always enjoyed doing them. Like, my teacher would, like, take everyone's and try saying them out as much as he could. And it was fun, always going to those and then, like, seeing everything and be like, hell yeah, that's my film up there on the big screen. And then you just come back with this, like, cute tiny award and just, like, memories. <laughs> Sorry to cut you off earlier. Weren't you going to say something about, mm. I guess, like, the uh, submitting your films? Oh, yeah. I don't remember, but it probably was. <laughs> I screwed it up. <laughs> nah, it's all good. <laughs> um, I, I guess another thing about like the festivals, how many festivals have you been to besides those? Um, there or was if, if you went to any others. New Jersey Young, there was All-American Film Festival, Big Dreams, there was a Highland Film Festival, there was my school, like, put on one too for like everyone inside the school oh man i, I um, wish my school had that oh my god it was so much fun we'd like my school sucked <laughs> oh sorry now nah, you're oof <laughs> poor school <laughs> uh, but um there was a lot more i just don't remember honestly oh there was like one in ocean county um nice. there's a few others i just honestly forget what they are because there's been too many i just i'm just like yeah it's a festival let's do it all right i get it i get it yeah no that's that, that, that sounds great so like 
Yeah, New Jersey is actually a really nice bouncing area for films now. Much more than they were in the past. Oh, yeah, there's, like, so much in Jersey to do for the festivals. And, like, there's a lot more festivals just, like, popping up, like, every year mm -hmm. um, to submit to and everything. So it's always nice to just, like, send it out. Right. Yeah, I get that. Nice. Like, hey, y'all, here's my school. Recognize me. <laughs> I'm from this mediocre for-profit school, but it's okay. Look at my film. Look at my film. I came out of this shithole. <laughs> oh, man. I've... It makes me think, though, like, there's a lot of festivals around. It's it's pretty hard to, like, to submit a film to, to, to any festival. It's even harder to, like, actually get there. Like, especially mm -hmm. if you're... Like, you don't have all of the luxuries and you can't really make it to a certain festival. Right. That That's always been hard. Oh, yeah, there's for me. been some where I, like, I miss because I'm just, like, I either have, like, work or I'm busy or, like, mm. um, actually, there was, like, some festivals that, like, we submitted to a while ago back in school, but then they didn't have it up until, like, now I'm just like, oh, darn, I'm in college. I'm, like, two and a half hours away. I can't make that. Um, like, right after class. Yeah. But, Especially um, when, when you don't have a car. Oh, yeah. Oof, I miss driving. <laughs> but that's okay. Wait. You'll, you'll do that next time. Next year. I can't even drive yet. And this will probably be dated by the time I start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, that's that that still sounds great. Like, And, and like with the awards you, you won, I'm sure like... I like I I hope you're not proud of yourself around like yeah I won that that award suck like, my oh my god feet. I won that award I'm the best filmmaker out there you can't beat me no it's just like I'd say it's just a huge filmmaker community because like I don't think I'm better than anyone but I don't think like mm -hmm. anyone's I don't know it's weird because like eh, it just helps motivate you because you're just like oh my god, you get that warm fuzzy feeling on the inside and you're just like oh my god I just won this award and yeah. it's just great. Yeah, don't don't think like for a minute that's just because if you want something that means you're suddenly oh, yeah, like no. above others. There's always more time to grow and like there's more things to learn and do and everything and just make them better. Absolutely. Like I am always learning. We're all learning here. Gotta learn something new every day. Remember, you're you're not above anybody, especially when you still have a, a long way oh, to go. Oh no. No one's above anyone. Everyone's just on a different learning level like some people know more than others but that's because they've either had more experience or more time to do it and then you're you'll get there you will you still have a long way to go oh yeah within the next like four years here at mica you'll, or you'll, more like three and a half because the semester's almost over you'll probably make the, the next big breakout we'll see what happens <laughs> okay so that so like oh, speaking of Micah, that that leads me into uh, my next question. So like, was was Micah the only college you looked at? No, and, 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 no. Okay, well before before like you, you answer that. Um, so like, out of all of the colleges that you did end up, um, I, I guess applying for, um, and especially like ones to to study film. Why, in particular, did you choose that? Because, like, Micah's film program is very recent. Like, more recent than the animation department. Mm. Um, well, hmm. like, why I chose Micah over some others? Yeah. Uh, I'd say it's probably, like, the environment and the way things are. Because, like, here at Micah, like, I can be exposed to, like, everything. So, in case if I, like, turn out not to like film, which never is going to happen, mm. but, um... I, like, have a ton of other things to do, whereas, like, some other colleges, it's, like, if you choose this, you have to just do that. Right. But, um, yeah, like, the film program here at MICA is, I'd say, one of the newest programs, mm -hmm. but it's still, like, building, and they still have a really good foundation. Right. And, like, any program's still going to build, but, like, um, you'll just be with it as it grows and you'll grow with it honestly mm -hmm. as like a filmmaker and like some of the professors there are very well known well very knowledgeable um i know like my one haptic synoptics teacher used to be like a cinematographer for film so he has like the experience and everything so he can like let us know how it is and just like shed his light and everything but you know i was very impressed with like the film program, because, like, 
some of the equipment they have, granted it's like a newer program than other colleges, but some of the equipment they have is more high tech than some other colleges. And granted, it's not the equipment that makes the good film, it's the idea and the like process of it. But um, yeah, it just seemed really good because like it's not the n- oldest program, but they still know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, like the film center here is like relatively, like even though it's like relatively new, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Oh yeah, it's still like everything's growing. Like the, even some of the oldest programs Micah has, they're still growing and changing. Oh yeah, the animation department has, still has a, a ways to go. But yeah, the film, like the film center in general does have a lot of good resources and a lot of good like artists that come by. Mm. Thank you, Nadia. <laughs> Shout out to Nadia Hironaka. <laughs> but uh yeah well, what other colleges did you apply to um i applied to scad ah. i applied to um school of visual arts i don't think i ever did no no they were good um i wasn't as impressed with their film program but it was still oh it's still a really good college mm-hmm. um i applied to university of north carolina school of the arts mm. Um, I applied to Syracuse, um, I applied to, I think there was one other, but I honestly don't remember. And, like, did they, like, what was, what did they lack that Micah didn't? Hmm. (laughs) Um. Probably community, because, like, a lot of the colleges is, like, you go there just for your major, and it seems like you really only interact with that one major. You don't really, like, expand on your knowledge. Right. Of course, like, you expand your knowledge within that major, and then you find the exact thing inside that you want to do. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I'd say it's just, like, here at Micah, you have, like, a more rounded, like, program, I think, of stuff to learn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, like, uh, one of the reasons I came here was because of the uh, community. And, you know, mm-hmm. you can't, I'll just say this, like, you, you can't like everybody at a at anywhere. You, oh, you're, yeah. always, you're always going to have people that you, you, you just don't get along with. But for the most part, if you're able to find, like, you know, your own, like, a good a, a amount of people to hang out with, like, no, like, like not just, like, a group, but also, like, others to, to chat with, like, then, then that's more than worth it. I'll, no matter what, even if I'm part of, like, a, a notable, a notable, that. Nah, a noteworthy group, I will still chat with with someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, it's always nice to chat with a ton of people, get to know everyone, like, see what people are doing in other programs and just see, like, the process of that. It's very interesting. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Huh? Who is that? Hey, buddy, what's up? Frank! How you doing, buddy? I'm doing fine. That's awesome. Oh, Frank Butter here. Uh, okay, see you later, dude. There is an example. <laughs> My friend Frank just, like, popped in here and just wanted to say hi. And and he didn't even say hi to you. Bummer. <laughs> and he's, he's socially awkward, too. <laughs> <laughs> he's all... And he's also afraid of girls. <laughs> oh God, take 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 that, that out, of, out of context, and it sounds really bad. <laughs> okay, uh, we have a few more questions left, but we're gonna expand this as much as we can. Okay, uh, so considering that Micah is largely a fine arts school, and you've also expressed that you're not much of a drawer per se. Like I've, I've seen the stuff you, you've drawn, but but I can tell like you know. You enjoyed it. It's just not quite your thing. But like, how how has that like, I guess, what am I trying to say? How how has that like affected you in any way? Like doing some dabbling into something that you're not as like talented in, but you, you still try your best. Um, it's very interesting because like, yeah, because I have a drawing class and everything. Granite's I really only enjoy it because the professor makes it fun Mm -hmm. but I'm not a drawer I don't draw I don't really enjoy drawing I can't draw if you give me a pencil or camera I'll choose the camera every day well here's a pen right now all right let's get to it (laughs) but um 
just threw it out. <laughs> there you go. Nice. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it definitely opened up my eyes to see, like, different ways I can, like, make films, different ways I can, like, interact and capture the actor, the actress, just capture things, like, how they should be, how they should be positioned and stuff like that, um, and different types of angles. Mm -hmm. But I know there's some people out there who can just, like, draw till they, like, drop dead. Mm -hmm. I never understood that. Then you're not an animation student. Oh, God, no. <laughs> um, there's a reason why I'm majoring in film and photography and not animation or drawing or anything. Like, granted, the people who do it, I have to commend you because Aww. that's a lot of commitment. It and, is. like, actually drawing stuff. Oh, my God, no, thank you. And granted, there's people who've told me, like, they don't see how I can be a film major because that is too stressful and a lot of work. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> yeah. But, no, like, I'm glad I have the drawing class just because it got me exposed to it. And, like, I know different ways. Like, I do enjoy using charcoal, but I'm not going to go out of my way to go do it or anything like that. It's it's just there in the background. It's like that background music while you're cooking. You know it's there, but you don't really got to pay attention to it. Mm-hmm. No, I get that. I get that. And it, actually, to, like, someone who's... Who, who, who will say, like, oh, how can you do that? Like, on, on, on one hand, you, you got to realize that people have different passions, but at the same time, I also kind of get it because, you know, they're doing one thing, like ceramics, sculpture, mm -hmm. um, game design and all that. That's more for them. Whereas, like, actual, like, illustration, filmmaking, animation, stuff that's more... What's the word I'm thinking of? Like, stuff that's, a, like, a little more grounded in a different form of art can, can be a bit more challenging to, to, to others but at the same time if that's like the best thing that you're like that's the best thing you're good at or, or something then by by all means you'll enjoy it a lot more oh yeah there's... I, I can't do ceramics for shit <laughs> yeah there's been times where like all i do is just edit edit and edit and like non-stop changing the film like the first draft is completely different than like the 25th draft of the film or like the tw different edit version and, and everything of it and there's people who are just like how can you stare at the screen for that long how do you know all those commands how do you know what to do the way this is positioned and the way that's organized what is happening and it's like building yeah. a puzzle yeah you know, they ask me that and then i ask them like well how do you know all these different types of things to use for drawing how do you just start off this drawing like that you, you, you just learn <laughs> you, you just learn be it doing it yourself or looking up to do tutorials not to, not do tutorials that put you to sleep though Oof. like fucking building how to build wood so this is how you put it here chop the tree down oh, God. shave it a little bit get the wood <laughs> on the inside exactly that could, well technically they're filming it but it's boring like mm. who wants to do that that's another thing too like the stuff that that you make is stuff that you it like as the old saying goes, if you don't love what you're doing, you're Quit. you're, you're going to make an inferior work. But if you like, if it's stuff that you really enjoy, then it r will really show. Well, it'll show more when you're putting like all your efforts into it, mm. and, and it will show more in a different way when you half-ass it. <laughs> Oof, yeah, that's been shown in films before. Unfortunately, not just student films. Oh, any type of film. It's like. I don't want to name names, but, like, somebody once made, like, a... They, they got, like, Oscar-caliber actors to be in this one movie, and the writing was so bad! It was, like, Battlefield Earth level. <laughs> yeah, there's films where, like, there's some times where, like, the actors just get criticized for the way they're doing it, but, like, you have to realize it's also the directing and the way oh, they're yeah. being asked to do it. Oof. There's so many instances where, like... The director just doesn't know what the fuck they're, they're doing, and you can tell. Oh man, do, do you know that movie Food Fight? No. Oh damn it. Okay, well basically, shitty animated movie. The director of it wasn't even uh, like an animation director. He was like the executive of the company, and it shows. He had no idea what he was doing. So, so if you have some clue of what you're doing and you're passionate about it, and, and even if the product doesn't turn out good, like your your effort will show. Yeah, you still put effort in, and people will realize that. It's like, you know what? You tried. Good, good, good for you. 
<laughs> People will appreciate art in more ways than one. True. Okay, so actually, outside of filmmaking, next question. <laughs> what other art forms do you like to experiment with? Not much, really. Just, like, film and photography, honestly. I don't really do too much for any other arts, really. Like, I've over the summer, I would go on so many different photo shoots, and then I'd end up with, like, over a thousand different photos I have to edit because I just haven't been editing them, and I just kept going out with the camera. Nice. But, yeah, it's just either that or film. I just, like consume my world with it i don't really do much else nice no that that, that makes sense if, if you're like good at one specific thing and like well may, maybe not one specific thing only but like if that's like what you love to do the most and it's kind of the only thing you're really good at then you'll stick to it yeah like i love animation i love drawing i love editing too i i love filmmaking as well but i wouldn't also be able to do other stuff like painting or like fine arts um interior design or something more like that but at the same time like you like micah as you kind of pointed out like they have like multiple programs and multiple uh departments that they can experiment with. and so like if your plan major doesn't work out you can always do another one. Oh yeah they make it really easy for you to like switch majors yeah but you're gonna stick to film no matter what 100 <laughs> percent pretty soon folks she is going to make the next big blockbuster Oh, God, I miss Blockbuster. That was, like, the store to go to. I meant summer Blockbusters. I know, but <laughs> still, like, but, that was a like, good store. Well, I mean, summer Blockbusters have become so bad. Oh, they have. There's they're, so many. They're, like, they're, they're not even entertaining anymore. Like, fucking Hobbs and Shaw, well, what was that? <laughs> see, that I didn't see. I was just like, I, oof, I Who can't Who cares about Fast and Furious anymore? It was good, but not anymore. It's gone downhill. I really hope you were never a fan of those Transformers movies. The first three weren't bad. Can't even agree there. Cannot even like, agree there. They've had, they were, they're not the best. There's better out there, but they're not shit. Can't even agree. Oof. <laughs> well, okay, maybe they're not quite as toxic as, like, um, I don't know, Freddy Got Fingered or something. <laughs> or a Serbian film. Mm. Oof. Try watching that. Ugh. Would you watch a movie like that? I don't know. Why I don't would know. you? It's fucking torture porn. <laughs> Ugh. Oh god, mentioning torture porn to an eighteen-year-old. Up. Oh, there's the, the sirens. Okay, okay. With with that said and done, though. Um. Damn, we are speeding through this. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so. You're just a freshman now at this point. You got like yeah. three and a half years to, to go at this point in time. Uh, so with that said, where do you see yourself within the next few years? Do you think you'll have grown more as a filmmaker or do you suppose your plans will change over time? Um, I don't really see my plans changing at all. They're going to stay the same going to film. I'll probably go more towards the editing side. I know I've had some people tell me how like, my cinematography is stronger, mm -hmm. but um, there's always room to improve on everything, honestly. Right. But yeah, definitely go and stick to film. Going into that, um, I have some experience, um, and then I'll grow off that and just keep continuing to like gaining more strengths and weaknesses, like. Mm -hmm. audio i hate dealing with audio by now i'll have to uh, you, still you got, do that you, got, you, you still gotta work with it that's another oh, yeah. thing too like we, we we had a bit of a conversation with this earlier but sound is one of the most underappreciated aspects oh it's of so film. important because like yeah i think this this may just be me but i feel like we notice the sound more in a film than the visuals like if you have bad sound you, you you'll notice it instantly but if it but if like the sound is so if the sound work is so well done and well polished that you don't even notice it, then that's a huge achievement. I kind of disagree. I would say, like, they're equally important, the visuals and the sound, but you can't do one without the other. What do you mean? Like, you need... In order for the film to be good, you need the sound to, like, be strong and support everything equally as good as the visuals. Like, mm -hmm. if you have really strong sound and crappy visuals people are going to notice that right off the bat. I think I'd rather have better sound than visuals, personally. But I do I do agree with you, though, because 
you know, like, because a lot of people on, like, even YouTube, for, for, for goodness sake, like, they, their, like, presentation style is, like, fine, it's nothing amazing, but, like, the sound quality is really good, and, like, people watch movies and videos on their phones a lot more now, mm. and so, like, that has, like, slightly better sound quality, although David Lynch f would, like, disagree. You can't watch a movie on your fucking phone! Have you seen any David Lynch films? <laughs> um, maybe? I don't really remember. You, you never seen Eraserhead or Blue Velvet or Mulholland Drive? No. Okay. Well, she, she has homework, folks. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like, e either way. And, and there's, like, some films that don't work as well without sound. Like, th there's movies that are basically built around the sound. Yeah. Like, um... I mean, don't forget, don't like, think. we originally had movies without any sound. It was all visuals. Oh, yeah. The silent decade. Yeah, and even Modern Times was, like, it was a sound film, but only through the music and only occasional uh, vocal tracks mm -hmm. and Charlie Chapman singing. Yeah. And then the one film, The Artist, was... Yeah, that, 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 that was silent. A silent film, and it, like, won Oscars, I know. I forget it, exactly it what It won type, the best but... picture. Yeah. And you went up with so many different movies that had perfect sound, perfect visuals, and still, just the one a silent movie with phenomenal visuals. Yeah. Although, like, I, I need to say this, folks. Don't don't think that sound mixing and sound editing are the same because there's oh, a huge so difference. Because, like, sound editing is where you, like, put the, the sounds in a certain place, whereas mixing is, like, actually playing around with, like, how loud or how low something's going to be. Big difference. Oh, yeah. Which, uh, that's another thing you, you gotta keep in mind with sound. Um, although, you can always ask me for help. I've dabbled with sound before. <laughs> in all seriousness, though, like, definitely f feel free to, to talk to anybody. That Because oh, yeah. there's always gonna be someone there. Oh, yeah, if, everyone's if you, gonna want to help everyone out. Yeah, if you can't find one person, you'll find another person. Mm. If, if you can't find a teacher, you can at least find a friend. True, true, true. <laughs> wow, this is probably the shortest one the, the shortest episode of what I'm going to have so far. But <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll wrap this up with one more question. And this is the same question I've asked, like I've concluded with all my guests. So whether it be personal or professional, what would you say have been both the toughest and proudest moments in your life? And how did they impact you? Ooh. Mm. I don't know. Um, I'd say toughest... <laughs> and that's when we come into the silent period of times. Um, well, there was this one film where, like, I had a... Me hating audio was a pain in the ass. But um, I had to, like... I filmed everything, and then I needed um, the actors to, like, do voiceovers to go with it. Because, like... A a ADR? Yeah. Darn. That that shit's hard. It, it I, I've noticed it was, if it's, oof. like... If it's animated, because I've done it before, it's a little more forgiving, but with live actions. Like, oh, yeah, it was, like, really hard. But, um, honestly, in the end, it turned out to be phenomenal, because that film got me really far, and it was great. So that was both a tough and proud moment. Yeah. Okay. Any others? I'm sure there's others, just... Well, you're you're probably going to have a lot more in the future, Oh, too. definitely. Because, like, listen, as great as film is, it is so fucking hard. Film and animation, they're both really hard, but that that's what makes it worth it in the end. Oh, definitely. Like, to see the, like, finished piece, like, up on the big screen, it's just, it's, ooh, it's a good feeling. It is a good feeling. It's always wonderful to see your product, and, and to see, like, all the people who worked on it, you're like, yeah, thank you so much, crew, I love you. It's like, high five, guys, we did that work. <laughs> and then you're, you, you're such an asshole behind them that they're like, yeah, we did good work. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure you, you've worked well with like your crews in the past. Oh yeah, we all got along. Nice. If you don't get get along, you're gonna make inferior work. Oh my god! If you don't get along, you're screwed. Honestly, you make you make enemies, you burn bridges, and then it just becomes a mess. <laughs> so I'm glad that you're able to collaborate well with others. Some people can't even to do that. <laughs> exactly. And that's pretty much it. So, with that said and done, Amanda, where can people find you via social media? 
Oh, I was going to say, you all can catch me at Micah, Baltimore, Maryland, uh, 21217. Whoa, don't tell them where you live. You don't want creepers. I don't live there, actually, though. Mm. <laughs> but but, but I, I guess via, like, other places, too. Ah, uh, well, my Instagram, Amanda. Dot, uh, dot Hogwarts, ah, uh, <laughs> has my website with all my films and photography. It is amazing. As well as your Wix page. Oh, yeah. The Wix page is my website. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for, for being on here. Why, thank you for having me. Absolutely. And this will, there will be one more episode after this, but it will not be next week because we got Thanksgiving, baby. So Ooh, with yeah. that said and done, get fat, folks. Enjoy the turkey. Enjoy the mashed potatoes. Enjoy that godforsaken pumpkin pie. And until then, keep on trucking, folks. Adios. Adios.